Good morning, everyone. So this is a very unimpressive, exciting what's in my bag. And yes, it is ironic that I'm doing this video now <laughs> during a time in which I hardly have to go anywhere. But here we are. So um, this is my vintage coach bag, a little backpack. I've talked about this bag. This is like I rotate through a lot of bags. I like bags, I'm a big fan. Um, but this is my absolute favorite, what I use most often of the time. This bag represents a long series of going to thrift stores very, very regularly in search for something very similar to this. Uh, of course, I was hoping it would be a coach, um, but I was like, I'm open to anything. I just want a tiny backpack. I've had this one for a couple years now. Uh, and the day that I finally found it for, I think $12, I don't remember. It was pretty, that was the, the day the clouds parted for sure. But I've, I've talked about this before, so I don't wanna like get too involved, too chittery chattery. So anyways, this is a great opportunity to also talk about my current journal setup. Ah, look how tiny it is. <laughs> <laughs> I was just, so this is my Chic Sparrow Mr. Darcy Buttered Rum. I've had this one for a couple years now. It has uh, primarily lived more recently as my pen and ink journal, just to keep it in rotation because it's one of my absolute favorite covers. I used to use it as a journal, but I tend to get claustrophobic after a while because <laughs> it's so tiny uh, and I feel like a need to spread out but I was craving being able to use this. I, I love the pocket size so much. Like I can hold this in one hand. It's so wonderful, it's such a great size. I am currently today writing with my vintage Pelican pen. It's a 400 from the 1950s. Inside is some stickers. What? <laughs> this is new for me. These are all washi stickers and I'm finding them to be a whole lot of fun to just put in throughout here and there when inspired. And so now I have stickers in my journal. Andrew, if you're watching this, this particular one reminded me of you because you are a baker, but I think this is really funny. This is an advertisement for a gas stove. But look how aggressive that is. <laughs> it's like battleship turrets baked like a cake with gas. What a novelty. I haven't, the, the font is really, really tiny, so I haven't had an opportunity to quite look at it, but I think it says October 26, 1941, I think. It's pretty funny. Sign of the times. Anyways, um, moving on, felt folder. I have, you know, random thoughts and to-do lists and whatever. Things like it's just a space that I can jot down. I've had this little um, booklet for, let's see, started, it's like April 5th, 2019. So just over a year now. Um, but I go back to pages where there's any like leftover space and I end up using that space because it's just for random, random notes. Moving along, we have my Loitch term. This is the pocket size. Put a little sticker, a little washi tape sticker in it. And then I have blotting paper and that's that. I'm not using it as a wallet right now. And partially that's because inspired by Sarah Martinez, I went ahead and made some purchases for Lindock pouches. I am a sucker for pouches. I cannot resist a good pouch. It is just the reality. Uh, so this is my wallet, and this is my other whatever. This I, I always carry with me. And in the front pouch, there are cards and cash and coins. And then in the, the top pouch, the fabrics on these are so beautiful. They are really, really nicely made. I feel like they'll last for a lifetime, which is wonderful if you want that. This is just like the main pocket for odds and ends, like chapstick. Check out my tiny, tiny address book. Yeah. Just gonna 
let you let that uh, absorb the tiny, tiny address book with a tiny, tiny pencil. I have my mom's key. I have fingernail clippers and a book of matches because I always have this sense of if I'm stranded somewhere in the woods, <laughs> at least I will be able to possibly build a fire. I don't know why. It is, that is truly why I keep a book of matches. I don't, it's weird. Next we have the pen pouch, which is not something that I carry with me all the time. If I have space, I put it in, but it's not a necess necessity. It is not full of necessities. <sighs> Anyways, <laughs> the fabric is really beautiful. Once again, the zipper is absolutely extraordinary. This is just such a well-built, simple little pouch, lifetime, lifetime pouch. So in it are odds and ends, like a ink rag, some lotion, some headphones that are not well organized. Big boy. My little pocket knife. Again, should I be stranded for some reason in the forest, I will have matches and a knife. <laughs> and my journal, because that's the most important part of it all. Thank goodness for the journal. That's the only way I'll, I'll be able to survive. That's actually it. So that was a weird, boring video, I feel like. <laughs> I just wanted to make a video because it sounded nice and I get asked a lot to do a what's in my bag. So here it is. I am a super minimal purse put inner. I don't put a lot of stuff in my purse. I don't carry a lot of things. I always have my journal. It's like number one priority and then wallet and then maybe little odds and ends here, but I, I just keep, like to keep it really simple. I would not go without my journal though. It's become like a bit of a security blanket. I just really enjoy um, having it. But anyways, this is my next in the line, which term pocket. And so I put some stickers on it and it's ready and waiting in the sidelines for when I fill up my current one. And I'm going to go before I make this any more awkward. Bye.